In this video, we are going to continue with limits of accuracy and focusing on just a single number. You will find this on page 27 in the Namibia Mathematics Ordinary Level Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. I want you to go back to the previous video if you still struggle with these examples. Otherwise, you can just stop the video and you can do number two. Let's just mark it. Number two. You can just do number B and F. And number three, you can do, I'm going to choose a few more here. Okay, and let's just take number E. Yes, I think we stop there. Okay, as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, but let's start. Number two. Each of the following numbers is correct to one decimal place. Keep the upper and lower bounds of each, and then use x as the number, express the range in which the numbers lies as an inequality. Almost like number one. Okay, but I start with number b, but very important. It is correct to, and here it comes, one decimal place. Now, the nice thing about decimal place, it's fixed. If it's one decimal place, you will always take 0 0.1 and divide it by 2. If it's two decimal places, you will take 0 0.01 divided by 2. And if it's three decimal places, you will take 0 0.001 divided by 2. Okay, so in this case, I will just take 0 0.1 which I did there, and I divide it by 2. So this is going to be 0 0.05. Okay, so now I'm just going to find, to find my lower bound, I'm just going to take the value, and I'm going to subtract 0 0.05. And if I do that, I'm going to get an answer of 17.55. And for my upper bound, I'm going to take still 17.6, and now I'm just going to add 0 0.05. So I'm going to get 17.65. So this was my first one. And then for my range, I'm going to say x, and I put it there. Remember, no equal sign. And this is 17.55, and this one is 17,65. Okay. And then if I look at number F, let's just take a different color. Um, again, it's one decimal place. So it's still 0 0.1 divided by 2, and it's 0 0.05. So for my lower bound... I'm just going to take now negative 0.2 and I'm going to subtract 0.05 and that is going to give me an answer of negative 0.25 and then for my upper bound I'm just going to take want to get that equal sign correct, too many. I'm just going to take negative 0 0.2 and I'm going to add 0 0.05 and that is going to give me negative 0 0.15 and then for my second one it's just going to be x and I'm just going to write so if I look, this is going to be negative 0 0.25, and this is going to be negative 0 0.15. Just take note, no equal sign, equal sign. Okay, let's look at number 3. I think I'm just going to move this one down so that I can first do number 3, and maybe still need a little bit of space. I think the best will be if to clean this first and then do number three. Okay, number three A, 
Now, this is correct two, is correct two, and this is very too significant, and it's not fixed. It depends on the number. So remember what I said to you. Okay, so say for example, the number is 7.8. Then underline the second significant figure. This is the first, seven, the second is eight. Then I said put the one in that position and fill the rest of the positions with zero. So actually it's going to be 0 0.1 which I'm going to divide by 2, which is going to give me 0 0.05. Okay. And now I'm just going to take my number. So for my lower bound, it's going to be 7.8 minus 0 0.05, which is going to give me 7.75. And for my upper bound, it's going to be 7.8 plus 0 0.05, which is going to be 7.85. And now that was the first one. And the second one, I put it in a range. So I make it x. Remember, equal, no equal. It's almost like the mouths are looking in this direction. So then put the lower, always. I just want to get that. 7, 5, and then put that upper. Okay, and then I go on and I do, that was number A. Then I'm going to do number B. Now again, take the number. First write down the number. Find the second significant figure, okay? 2 is first, 8 is second. Put a 1 in that position, fill the rest of the positions with zero. So actually I'm going to take 0 0.01 and that's the number I'm going to divide by two. And I will get 0 0.005. Okay, so basically I'm going to find my lower bound by saying 0 0.28 plus 0 0.0 no, 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 let's first always do subtract. Subtract 0 0.005, and that is going to give me 0 0.275. And I'm going to find my upper bound and say 0 0.28 plus 0 0.005 and that is going to give me 0 0.285. And then if I put the x there, and then my lower is here, just give that 5, and my upper is here. Okay. And then the last one here, maybe we can just move and move it a little bit up and up. It's 410, okay. So in this case, so it's number E. And it's going to be 410. Now remember, this is my first significant, this is my second. Now, what did I say every time? Put the one in that position and fill the rest of the positions, there's the comma, with zero. So actually, what is standing there is just a 10. And what do I do? I divide it by 10. And what do I get? I get 5. And then to find my, let's just move this one. To get my lower bound, it's going to be 410 minus 5, which is going to be 405. And to get my upper bound, it's going to be 410 plus 5, which is 415. And then the range is going to be 4, Zero, five, 
four, one, five. And that is going to be my final answer. Okay, let's look at a practical example. That was just to help you to get, but let's clean this first. Then let's end this video with a practical example. Okay, so we can move this one up again. Okay, where are we, where are we? A, sur a surveyor using a laser beam device can measure distance to the nearest 0 0.1 meter. Okay, can you hear again? To the nearest 0 0.1. Okay, what is the shortest possible length of the uh, warehouse which you measure at 95.7? Shortest mean the lower bound. Okay, so to the nearest 0 0.1, divide that by 2 and it's 0 0.05. So the lower bound is going to be 95.7 minus 0 0.05, which is this. And I don't think it's necessary to, to do the upper. You can actually stop by saying the shortest possible length of the warehouse is 95.65. Okay, I want you to stop, stop the video and I want you to do try now number two. Try now 22, number two. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. A capacity of a swimming pool is given as 630 correct to two significant figures. Okay, remember always, correct to, hmm, let's just get that pin. And it's two significant figures. Okay, so basically calculate that lower. So it's 630. So I'm going to, this is number two, um, it's 630. This is my first significant, this is my second. Now what do I always say? Underline, put a one, fill the rest with zeros. If there's no comma, the comma is standing there. So actually, it's just 10, because there's just standing 10, that I've had divide by two and I'm going to get 5. That's the number which I will subtract and add. So for the lower bound, I'm just going to take 630 minus 5, which is going to be 625. And for the upper bound, I'm just going to take uh, 630 plus 5, which is 6, 3, 5. Okay, and then I'm going to end up, this is number A, okay, find the upper and the lower, then by using x and cubic to cap express the range. So x, remember equal, no equal, lower bound here, upper bound here. And that's your final answer.